This is the video lecture for the PowerPoint on sustainability. So the objectives of these PowerPoints are, of course, to describe what sustainability is and understand the importance of sustainability. Now, in this context, we're going to talk about sustainability in regards to companies. So how can I support somebody who is a sustainable business, um, in a sense? So what is the word? What is the definition of sustainability? Sustainability comes from the word sustain and ability. And sustainability is the ability to nourish and provide for future generations. Sustainability at the moment is a very trendy word. In fact, you can get a degree in sustainability. And sustainability can be sustainable architecture. So a lot of people who are in the architectural and design field can become what they call LEED certified, leadership in engineering and environmental design. Um, and so it's a very trendy word. In fact, you can get a certificate or a degree in sustainability and you can work for companies as their sustainability officer. So you would look at the company as a whole, see how they're doing in terms of the environment, socially, um, economically. So all of those things are tied together. Um, some companies run, you know, um, reward systems. I know when I worked at New Jersey DEP, um, they held a reward system. You won $1,000. If you could think of something at the DEP that could be done that could increase our sustainability. And someone actually realized how much we were flushing in the toilets and they decided to use a gray water system. So there's ways that you can do this. Um, and so this is what sustainability is. And we've talked about this already in previous sessions, but it usually deals with those three P's or in this sense, there are three words that are similar. So people, profit, planet are the P three P's or it's social, economic, and environmentally sustainable. And you could see here where those, where the economic growth, the social progress, and the environmental stewardship overlap you are a sustainable company. You can't have one without the other. So you can't be environmentally responsible without socially responsible. If that's the case, then you're just an environmentally responsible company. You're not a sustainable company. And so while there's these little subcategories, I'm not as worried about the subcategories as I am about you understanding what economic growth is, what environmental stewardship is, and what social progress is. And where those three overlap, you are a sustainable business. So when we talk about the economic growth, you're talking about innovation, capital efficiency, risk management, you know marginal improvements, you know all the, you don't grow too fast, you understand who your clients are, what you're doing, and you know how you're going to meet their needs. Now a lot of people will claim that Whole Foods has sold out. They have moved from the sustainable realm to the non-sustainable realm. And the reason for that is because now they've expanded themselves to all these different markets and they're not sure if that's really it. So we're kind of in this unknown world of Whole Foods at the moment. Um, social progress on the other hand means you know your company is has is very diverse it has um, diversity diversity statements it is um, it hires all types kinds of people um, you ha you're a company that looks for human rights so you don't violate any human right violations meaning that people get a specific amount of work time they get um, time off they get health benefits they get college reimbursement there's all sorts of things here they also do community outreach so you know their, their goal is to help the community, um, whether it is they, um, you know, there's this awesome resort in Jamaica that I, we always spend time at. It's called the Rock House Resort. It's a small resort. Um, and what happens is most of the funds at that resort go to pay to build schools. So, you know, you're doing two good things. You're going on vacation. It's not one of these mass, big, um, huge kind of mega vacation resort places. It's a smaller resort type place. It's owned by Jamaicans and they see where the ability to help other people is okay um, and then of course the environmental portion so you are environmentally responsible maybe that's you reuse goods or you think about your packaging or you um, I don't know I mean the sky's the limit on this type of environmental responsibility portion um, you believe in biodiversity you have a zero waste policy a zero emission policy etc so, you know, it spreads across all parts and includes the three major categories. I kind of just went over this environmental, social, economic, or the three P's, which is people, profit, planet, and they all line up to these three words. Here are the subcategories. And, you know, I kind of just went through all the different um, 
ideas. Now, sustainable companies are really good at closing the loop. And when you watch the story of stuff, you'll see, um, you'll see Annie Leonard talk about the the uh, linear system, which is a line where there's only an input and an output, and that output is never put back into the input. So it's just a line. And the problem with lines are that we, you know, there's a finite limit of resources and what happens is is that we use up all the resources because we never take the trash and put it back in. Sustainable companies actually think about that. They think about closing the loop, whether it's their products are recyclable or maybe whatever they produce like hops. Yards Brewing Company is a great example of this. Um, their hops, they have their hops grown locally but also their hops are um, then, then given to a farm to feed their... So you know, those hops go to a farm and then the pigs eat the, the used hops. So there's just a recycled sort of idea here that you think about what you put in and what you come out. Um, and here's an example here. Um, and so, you know, these are just the different types. So, you know, you got to make sure you have those three parts. And I explain a little bit more of those parts here. Um, and then um, I want to give you some examples. So this is a little hard. Plan Toys, um, they're online. They're a great company. Um, Hape Toys, Green Toys, these are all toy companies. And the reason is I have small children. So I, I was in the toy business for a little bit of time. One of the big things about these three companies is you'll realize that a lot of their um, toys don't require batteries um, because batteries are not sustainable. So a lot of them require no batteries. They're wooden toys. Um, they're made from bamboo or other other um, products and um, these companies do a lot they either build orphanages or give money to orphanages um, etc so all the way down the line and you'll see that a lot of these are not sold in your mainstream um, some of them are and of course they're a little pricier sustainable goods are more expensive just like fair trade goods they're more expensive than other goods because they're paying everybody the right amount of money along the supply chain they're thinking about where their products are made where they end up and this is why it makes it more costly so do my kids need 50 things on christmas day no they don't just junk so what winds up happening is, is why not buy a couple things that are worth more money that are sustainable goods um, it doesn't it's it, of course it's very hard to deal with um, the peer pressure of that but if you want to change that behavior you're more than you can do it um, IKEA so one of your questions is about IKEA and IKEA um, is actually known as one of the most sustainable companies in the world um, and for many reasons um, while they have a long way to go, they are sustainable in, in some realms um, of others. And so there's some articles for you to read about that. Night Kitchen Bakery in Germantown, great place to visit if you've ever been there. Yards Brewery, Vicks Aperium, 10,000 Villages, Wash Cycle Laundry. All of these places are wonderful sustainable companies um, that you can research and find out about them. Now here we go. Examples of companies that claim they are sustainable, but are they? Let's say Coca-Cola. Coca Coca-Cola claims they have a huge sustainability office. They say, oh, we're totally sustainable. But what about the fact that they use so many plastic bottles? Um, what about the fact that they contribute to obesity because they actually market towards certain demographics because they know people of cer certain income level and races drink more um, sugary beverages? Um, and so, you know, these are big question. Starbucks, you know, they say they're completely sustainable, but let's think about it. What about all the waste that Starbucks produces? Um, and they'll say, oh, well, you can recycle our products. Or how about the fact that almost all their food is shipped in from central locations? Why not support a local bakery and have every morning have the local bakery drop goods off to your store? Um, so there's a lot of ways that Starbucks could become a little bit more sustainable. Walmart, and we talked about this earlier, um, is Walmart really sustainable? How about Community College of Philadelphia? We have lots of LEED, we have actually have two LEED certified buildings. The Northeast Campus is LEED certified. Um, and our main Bonnell building is, is somewhat LEED certified. We have a couple green roofs. We have gray water systems. We do a lot environmentally. But on the other hand, we take money from fraction, fracking companies for scholarships. So what is it? Are we sustainable or are we not? And I don't know if sustainability leaves leaves room for those gray lines. They may or may not. Um, so there's a lot of questions to be asked, but I just gave you some good examples of what are considered sustainable, what are not considerable, considered 
sustainable companies. You can, um, the list can go on and on. You can research a ton of different sustainable companies out there. I highly suggest that you don't type in f what is Forbes top 50 sustainable companies because what happens is um, places like Coca-Cola show up and the big companies. And when you really whittle it down, they usually are not the most sustainable companies. The smaller companies usually do a better job at sustainability. Um, remember I talked about Whole Foods. Did Whole Foods grow too much? to be to lose their sustainability status and so there's a lot of questions there okay um, so this ends the video lecture on sustainability